Get ready for a new set of absolutely amazing optical illusions. Concentrate hard and don't let them trick you. Number one, look at these circles attentively and you'll notice they're rotating. But that's just an illusion. The circles are completely still. Number two, which is bigger, the hat's height or its width? They're absolutely the same. Your eyes are playing tricks on you. Number three, which tower is leaning more? Ha, look at that, they're the same. Even though one tower seems to be lopsided when placed next to a copy of itself, this is called the leaning tower illusion. Number four, how many colors do you see in this image? However many you might see, in reality, there are only three. Number five, the patterns in this picture seem to be moving. But once you focus on one of the ovals, the whole image becomes still. Number six, what do you see in this picture? A moving star? Well, the star part is correct, but in reality, it's a static image. Once again, if you concentrate on any of its parts, the picture will stop moving. Number seven, it seems as if there are three cylinders in this image, and they're all rotating. But you know what to do. Stare at the center of the picture and all the movement will stop. Number eight, which pencil is longer? They are of the same length. Number nine, can you find three animals in this picture? Three bunnies are hiding in the tree branches. Number 10, look at this rotating thingy. There's no doubt it's a 3D image, but in reality, it's just a set of rotating figures that creates such a three-dimensional effect. Number 11. Look at the screen and move your head forward and backward while focusing on the center of the image. When you come closer, the lines will seem to rotate counterclockwise. As soon as you start to move away from the image, the lines will rotate clockwise. Number 12. There is something hidden in this grid. Can you figure out what it is? If you can't spot it, try to shake your head, move further from the screen, or screw up your eyes. And just in case it hasn't helped either, let me make the grid less bright. Here we go. A lovely kitty. Number 14. Can you figure out which word is hidden here? That's bedside. Number 15. Look at this image and say which string is tied to the banana. I was almost sure it was string number two, but in fact, that's the third one. Number 16. Which word is brighter? If you remove the grid, it'll become obvious that both words are of the same color. Number 17. Each horizontal band seems to be lighter in the middle and darker near the boundaries. But in reality, all of them are of a uniform shade. Number 18. Which line is longer, A or B?
They're both of the same length. This illusion is created because your mind perceives this image in 3D space. That's why your brain tells you that the line which is closer to you must be shorter than the more distant one. Number 19. Are the woman's eyes of the same color? In fact, they are. You can make sure of it by comparing the color of her eyes and the hair accessory. Number 20. At first sight, it's just a red fan rotating over a bright green background. But try to concentrate on the black dot in the middle. You'll notice that the green under the fan is brighter than that of the surrounding ring. And the fan blades are actually redder than the central disc. Number 21. These two discs are pulsating, changing between dark and light. But are they doing it at the same time? Keep watching, and you'll see that it depends on the background. When it's light, the discs pulsate in sync. But when one part of the background is light and the other is dark, the discs seem to pulse not simultaneously. Number 22. Which word is hidden in this image? That's the word quality. Number 23. Which creature has a longer mouth, yellow or green? Their mouths are of the same length. Number 24. How about this picture? Which word does it hide? High five if you spotted the word quite. Number 25. That's how a set of simple straight lines can trick your brain. The square made up of vertical lines looks wider and shorter than the one formed of horizontal lines. Number 26. Look at this pyramid made of elongated diamonds. Are these diamonds darker at the top or at the bottom of the pyramid? All diamonds are identical, even though it surely doesn't look like that. But once we start moving around them, this way, and comparing them with one another, it becomes obvious. Right now, you're going to test your observation skills. This test has four levels, and each one's trickier than the last. Find a pen and a piece of paper to write down your score. For each correct answer, you'll get some points. One, if it's the first level. Two, if it's the second one. Three, for the third. And four, for the last one. The results will be at the end of the video. Level 1 1 So, how many legs can you see in this picture? Right, there are 12 legs, 6 wearing dress shoes, and 6 with high heels. 2 There's an animal in this picture that's trying really hard to blend in. Can you spot it? Aha! It's this piglet, but its nose gives it away. 3 can you find three animals hidden in this picture? Right, three ducks are hiding among the tree branches. Four, what's wrong with this image? Two moons, really? Five, can you spot anything strange in this picture? A snake is pretending to be a giraffe here. Six, just another regular day at the supermarket, or is it? It would be, if the lady on the left wasn't wearing skis. 7. How about this image? Is everything correct here? Not really. There's something wrong with the exit sign. 8. Why is this laundry trip going to end badly? Because who on earth washes white shirts together with red socks? <laughs> Not me. 9. This picture looks weird, but why? The mouse is chasing the cat, not the other way around. 10. Can you spot the odd image? Yep, it's the sprinkled donut in the corner. Well, that was easy. Okay, I'm up for some challenges now. Level 2. 11. Which kitty is different from the rest? This one seems to be more pleased with life than the others. 12. 
There are four mistakes in this picture. Try to find all of them. Well, let's see. A globe under the sink, a pair of shoes in the cupboard, a shirt instead of the curtains, and a table lamp instead of the faucet. This woman's life must be full of adventures. 13. Can you see two different things in this image? It can be a girl or someone's face. 14. Do you see a deer? A real master of camouflage. 15. Can you find three animals here? I've only got one question. What are rabbits doing up there? 16. There are three things wrong in this picture. Can you spot them all? There's no red light and no rails for the tram. And December 32nd? Seriously? You really want 2020 to last that much longer? 17. Which girl looks different? The one in the right bottom corner, because it's a boy. 18. Which magician is different from the rest? Yeah, he probably decided to stand out from the crowd by wearing a different cloak. 19. Something is missing in this picture, but what exactly? The sun is bright, but then, where are the camel's shadows? 20. Which emoji is different? Yep, the non-winking one. Okay, not so bad. What's next? Surprise me. Level 3. 21. How many cubes are there in this picture? There are 9 cubes. 22. Can you spot the odd one? Yeah, it looks a bit shorter than the rest. 23. Can you figure out which string is tied to the banana? I bet on the first one, but it's actually number 3. 24. How many animals can you see in this picture? There are three foxes. 25. Something's wrong with this picture. But what? The pitcher is empty. Where's the milk coming from? 26. Can you read what's written here? It's a mystery. Um, no, no, you, you don't get it. The word is mystery. 27. Which unicorn is different? This one. Because it's a horse, not a unicorn. 28. What's wrong in this picture? The fish doesn't have fins. 29. What's hidden here? A tiny hint, it's alive. Right, it's a giant panda. 30. What can you see in this image? It's either a face or a penguin. Wow, to tell you the truth, that level made me sweat. Level 4. 31. Can you find a snake in this picture? Duh, looks like a tree root to me. 32. What can you see in this image? There are two trees and a woman's head. 33. Can you find the farmer's wife? Here's a hint, she's somewhere nearby. Who would have guessed you could turn the image upside down? 34. The children are sure the astronomer is still in the room, but where can he be hiding? He really didn't want to be found. 35. These geese are in danger. A predator's hiding somewhere in the picture. Wow, almost missed it. How spooky. 36. What's hidden in this picture? It's a big, toothy, scary shark. 37. How many things can you see in this picture? It can be a beggar or it can be a face, depending on your perspective. 38. This image is quite obvious. Or is it? Try turning it upside down. Then, the rabbit will turn into a man with a long mustache. 39. And what can you see in this picture? It might be a happy dog, 
or an equally cheerful cat. 40. And finally, can you read this? You don't say. Bad eyes? Okay, this level was actually mind-boggling, but I'm looking forward to learning my results. If your score is 0 to 25 points, work more on your observation skills and you'll get better. If you've got 26 to 50 points, you have a quick eye. With more practice, you'll soon become a pro. If you have 51 to 75 points, you're as attentive as Sherlock. You can spot the tiniest details without much effort. But if you've got 76 to 100 points, wow! I can't but feel a bit intimidated. Nothing can escape your eagle eye. It's better not to mess with you. Hey, how about we create your psychological portrait using optical illusions? You game? The rules are simple. Just remember the first thing you saw in the picture. Now, if you see a horse in this picture, you're a very valuable friend. You have excellent communication skills, and you're very confident and reliable. But if the first thing you saw here is the horse's head, it may mean you're critical of everything, and the opinion of others can't throw you off the path. The next illusion. Those who saw a crocodile here love a quiet life and don't like to open up to something new. But if you saw a boat, you're more creative than other people and pay attention to small details. Those who see a young woman here have an analytical mind and use their left brain more. If you see an old man, you're likely to be a very gentle and sensitive person who can be very empathetic to other people. You're more creative and you use the right side of your brain. The white pillars in the picture mean you like comfort and safety. But you should leave the comfort zone to gain more experience and achieve something new. But if the first thing you see is the silhouettes of two men, then you're the kind of person who doesn't sit in place and is ready to move constantly. Are these flowers or a woman's face? If it's flowers for you, then you appreciate the world you live in and just love nature. And if the first thing to draw your eye was a woman's face, then you have a great ability to highlight details from the environment that will help you to make the right decision. If an orange explosion is painted for you here, you have incredible leadership qualities. But if the first thing you see in this picture is black fingers, then you're a very compassionate, generous, and kind person. Hey, did you see two faces here? You're an extrovert. You're social, and you're constantly thinking about other people. But you also get influenced easily, so try to surround yourself only with good people. But if you see a candlestick here, you're the exact opposite. You think more about yourself than about other people, and you like to sit at home rather than having noisy parties with a bunch of people. Ooh, this one is scary. If you see a skull here, it means it's hard for you to make decisions and move forward. But you need to find the courage and overcome the circumstances. It's the only way for you to become stronger. And if you see a woman, you're probably feeling like a squeezed lemon, both emotionally and physically. Perhaps you have just ended a difficult period in your life. In any case, stay on the bright side. Now, if you see trees here, you must be an ambitious person who loves to bring everything to perfection. If you saw the roots at the first moment, it means you're a progressive person who strives for improvement. If the whole picture looked like dark lips to you, then you're a person who doesn't like to go deep into something and study too much. Hey, were those chocolate lips? Now, what do we have here? Is it a river and a cliff? Then you're an optimist who adapts easily to the changes in life. But if the first thing you see is a white cat, then you like stability and you're in an emotional and mental balance. And you're a cat lover, of course. And if you see a face here, then you're a very creative person. You see a new opportunity in every detail of the world, and you're very curious. Whoa, is this an explosion? Then you're easily scared. You often feel fear of something new and unknown. You may even be in conflict with yourself. But if you see a passionate kiss in the smoke, then you value relationships and family the most in life. This is the highest priority for you. 
Ooh, cute bears! If you saw them first, then you can easily solve problems. You see a picture from far away, notice all the details, and can find the best solution. But if for you, this picture is a mountain landscape, then you are a more intuitive person. You're guided by your sixth sense when decision-making. Are you a realist? If you saw a big blue cat here, then yes. You don't have much fantasy, but you see the world as it is, and it helps you make plans on how to conquer it. If a little mouse hits your eyes first, you can see the positive even in the worst-case scenario. For you, the glass is always half full. The next illusion. If you see a girl at the window, then be careful. This may suggest that you expect something unpleasant to happen. And you're also probably an impulsive person. If you see a skull here, then you're pessimistic. Your friends may call you a cynic, but you consider yourself a realist. Creativity against analytics? Hmm, what do you see? If the red saxophonist is the first thing you see, then you are a person who likes to systematize and analyze information. You must be good at math and foreign languages. And if you see a portrait of a woman here, then you're an emotional and creative person. Is it a bird? Then you're a daydreamer, though a little absent-minded. But you strive to make the world a better place and invent ways to do so. And if there's a big face of a lion here, then you're a very brave person who's ready to face their insecurities and come out the winner of any fight. And here we have crocodiles? Ooh. Then maybe you like to be in charge and manage your life. Orders from other people make you suffer because you're a natural leader. If you see a bird in the middle, you're ready to help others. You're reliable and friendly. Okay. If the first thing you see here is a car, then you're a person who appreciates their freedom. You like to break away on an unexpected journey, meet new people, and see new places. If you saw a person with binoculars, it means you have an analytical type of thinking, and you like to look at things from afar, often missing small details. And although you can absorb a lot of visual information, you should focus on the smaller things too. If you saw the letter A, then congratulations! You have a very sharp vision, just like an eagle. So hey, you can dive on a salmon. And you have well-developed intuition. Oh, this one is harder. If you're a girl and you've seen a man's face here, then either you're looking for a partner or your current partner is a priority in your life and you feel a strong emotional connection with him. But if you see a woman's face, then you feel comfortable and self-sufficient. Guys who saw a man's face are concerned about relationships with other men, whether they are colleagues, friends, or even other guys in the gym. And if you see a female face, you're looking for your love. But take your time, or else you may push too hard. This is a test for Super Sherlock. Of course, it's two squirrels, right? Well, that means you're pretty lazy, and you don't get too much into details. Now, tilt your head a little to the left. Now, you can see a woman's face. But if that's what you saw from the beginning, then you're an incredibly attentive person who can get along well with other people. And now, we will determine your psychological age. If the first thing you saw was old people's faces, then you have already lived a long and colorful life. You definitely have something to remember. But if you see a young couple sitting next to each other, then you're young and all the fun is waiting for you. Now, be ready to give a quick answer. Remember what you see first. Let's go! If you notice a smiling face, you're an optimist. If it's the open book, you're smart and have a well-developed intuition. If it was roses, you're calm and kind. The tilted cross means that you're faithful. Balloons mean cheerfulness and good imagination. If the first thing you saw was a heart, then you're gentle and affectionate. The lion's face means that you're fearless. And if at first you notice the tie, you're determined and diligent. Oh, and if you saw the ice cream cone, then it's time for an eye exam, because there wasn't one in the picture. <laughs>
That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.